Welcome guys, today we are going to do a little walkthrough of the village of Oxford and uh, Oxford is a village located in Chenango County, uh, New York. Um, the population here as of the 2010 census is roughly 1500. Uh, this village uh, is named after Oxford, Massachusetts the hometown of the landowner. Uh, the village of Ox, uh, Oxford is in the northern part of town of Oxford, southwest of the city of Norwich. So we're gonna do a little exploring and check out the sites. Uh, according to niche.com, niche gives Oxford, New York an overall grade of B. Uh, B minus for public schools, A plus for crime and safety, uh, B plus for housing, um, nightlife gets a B, B plus uh, good for families, and B minus for diversity. Um, a more recent stat for population, uh, it shows for the town of Oxford, there's roughly 3,733 people that live here. Uh, the median home value, and this might be a little outdated, um, around $95,000, and rent goes for just under $700. Alrighty, so we are going to take a walk. There across the street is the postal office, and we are in the main square park over here. There's a little gazebo-like building. Check it out. They got a little Dollar General across the street. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, on niche, there are 14 reviews from folks who live in Oxford. This uh, person gives it three out of five stars. It says, a great place to grow up, lots of things to do as a kid, no crime, so kids are safe, that's always a plus. We used to ride our bikes from Oxford to Norwich with no problems. Fun winter and summer activities include swimming, sledding, snowmobiling, Schools are okay. Uh, my mother knew we were always safe when we were outside playing. A beautiful scenery. And if you're looking for a place that is slow and gives you the simple life, Oxford is the place for you. Uh, another person writes, gives it three out of five stars. It's an okay town for a small town. Some community activities, but most revolve around the school. Not much food shopping to speak of. School is okay and slowly improving. And according to Data USA, uh, the medium household income in Oxford, New York is roughly $45,000. Right now on State and Washington Ave intersection. We're gonna walk down the heart of the village and see what kind of shops they have. And it's a beautiful March day. And I'm enjoying it. First warm day of the year. Grooming place for your little furry friend. Hey, do you know what that building's called over there? What it's called? No. No, but it's it's a historic building, right? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. The cops uh, are in there now. Yeah, it used to be the bank. So. Oh, was it the bank? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I saw something online. I couldn't really. Is this a popular place to eat? Would you say? It is. Hoppies? I'm going in just because I'm friendly with the oh. people in there. I'm going to bring her some eggs. I might have to bring the kids in. Uh, it's a super nice place. Thank you. Yeah, first time here, so we're checking yeah, it out. Good family friends, you know, that have bought it. Good job. Yeah, it looks lovely. Thank you. Hoppies, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We'll have to go in there for some ice cream. 
Yeah, so this is a popular uh, spot. Uh, it's got a lot of high ratings on Google. So I suggest you guys check it out. We're gonna do the same. Okay. Good looking hair salon. All right. It's a Saturday, March the 19th. Oh, that's cool. And we are on North Cannell Street right now. This stadium bar also has some amazing wings and appetizers. It's called the Stadium Sports Bar and Grill. It's Monday, Saturday, Sunday. Might be too early. Oh, no. They're open. Yep, the stadium. How's it going? Do you guys have a to-go menu? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so we got the menu. This is the sports bar and grill menu. We got some appetizers, chips, onion rings, fried mushrooms, mac and cheese wedges, fried cheese, a bunch of goodies over here. They got salads, California steak salad, that looks delish, taco salad, um, burger options, and they're big on sandwiches and wraps. Reuben sandwich, that's one of my favorites. Some cheesecakes, Oreo cheesecakes. Yep, right in the heart of the village. Approaching a bridge, the Oxford Master Designer. On this site, Theodore Burr built Oxford's first bridge back in 1802. There you go, a little history. The snow just melted, so the, the water is crusting. Hello. Checking out the sights. How cool is this, guys? All I need is my fishing pole. Pretty sure there's some walleye in there, some large mouth bass, and a ton of sunfish, I would imagine. There's the village fire department. Okay. Looks very well maintained. There's the funeral home. I think that's just a private residence over here. It's a beautiful house though. Looks like it's over a hundred years old. Probably is. Very quiet. You would expect a little more action here on a beautiful day such as this. Folks milling around. And this is the United Church of Oxford. Very nice, very nice. The Sonic Temple. All right, we are about to make a quick Yui. Actually, 
before we do that what is that up ahead that looks like a very old church that I want to check out Railroad crossing. Checking out this would be the residential spot on Albany Street and Main Street. Uh, you, you see these beautiful uh, homes surrounding this green space over here. Little park. Squirrel having a blast. Check it out. Perfect place to bring your picnic. Kill a few hours under the sun. Look at this iconic looking building. Not sure what happened here. With the fence being knocked down, it's probably locked and not sure if it's still an active church or not. But the architecture here is very gothic, very, very beautiful. All right, so this is the community center, St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Very cool. And of course they're closed at the moment. And this this building here is part of the church, the community center. Not sure what kind of activities they have inside. But it definitely seems like a tight-knit community where folks are friendly and everyone knows everybody and everyone is willing to lend a helping hand a time of need. Uh, the homes are well maintained. You can see people are proud uh, folks here taking care of their property. And it definitely, definitely gives the village a huge facelift. Some beautiful homes here across from the fire department. And I see a historical sign. Let's take a look. The site of St. Paul's Episcopal Church erected back in 1816. The first church in the village of Oxford. And I think that's a school, Oxford Academy, built in 19, actually in 1794. Very cool. Okay. We are on Merchant Street and Fort Hill Park. All right, so that's the school right here, guys. Oxford Memorial Library, right next to the school. All right, let's see what this historic sign says. Site of ancient Indian fort 
1791, early settlers found evidence of this fort having been in use for many years. The library is probably closed. Yep, it is Saturday. They sh should be open, but they're probably closed. Yep, it's closed. This is the site where the Fort Hill Mill was built in 1794 by Theodore Burr and Jonathan Baldwin. All right, we're crossing the bridge. A lot of folks are taking their bikes out from storage very exciting I can't do this I can't wait to do the same look how pretty that looks it's a nice little Harley course every little village does have its empty storefronts thanks to the seaward and big box stores of course what are you gonna do school bike over there And this is Roma's Pizzeria and Restaurant, Old Fashioned Sicilian Slices. appetizers salads and again this is Roma's pizzeria in the heart of the village of Oxford not only that do they they do have a nice little sit-down area they have a nice little restaurant area too where you can just sit back and dine so we might come back and grab a few slices and this is the first national bank, a historic building. Um, that sound, I'm not sure what that's all about. But this, this is the staple of Oxford, New York. This building right here. Bank building built in 1894. And now I see it's a police department. That's cool. And uh, so it's a municipal building. I'm gonna go grab some food at Poppy's um, restaurant across the street. We grab some of their desserts. All right, we got the gang over here. We took the table all the way in the back. Uh, we are at Hoppy's, where they do breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course, dessert. Let's see, they have awesome appetizers, lunch, dinner, barbecue, breakfast, omelets. You're getting uh, a third of ribs? Okay, you know it's going to get messy, right? American chicken sandwiches and, and that's the dining room area pretty large and spacious here
This is the Mushroom Swiss Burger. Here it's getting a hot dog and some. Thank you so much. Here I've got an omelet, ham and cheese omelet. And Bohem is going beast mode. <laughs> and he's got the ribs. Let me see them ribs. Half a rack. And Eric got the pancakes. And she wanted a hot dog. So we're going to dig in and enjoy. And maybe get some dessert. We'll see. That's better. Is that big enough for you? Yeah? Okay. 